Hi everyone, I'm here today with a video on my most repurchased Mac products. I thought this would be a really fun video because I get a lot of questions about what are my like must have Mac products and these are the things I've repurchased more than any other Mac item that I own. But before I get into that, I just wanted to tell you guys about a game that I'm literally obsessed with. And by obsessed, I mean like I play it every single night before I go to bed. This is the game Best Fiends. Yes. It is a game. It's, it's been a while since I have played video games on my phone, but when Best Fiends asked to partner with me on a video, I was like, hmm, I have a plane ride ahead and it'd be kind of fun to have something to do. So I downloaded the game and I'm literally obsessed and I play it every single night before I go to bed. It is a free adventure puzzle game where you can upgrade and collect new characters by matching the little, ob the same objects to defeat the slugs and you get like cute little bugs. So as you go through the levels, you can upgrade your little bugs, you get to um, collect new bugs along the way, they get new powers, you can make them evolve. It's really fun and I'm really addicted to the game. And I am currently on level 54. Like I, I can't, I can't stop playing. So basically what you do is level 54, I have collected quite a few little bugs here. You press start and you can upgrade your bugs or change them before every game. Okay, so you can see the little bugs that I have collected. There is the slug, and you want to collect three in a row that are the same. So we're gonna go, and there's three. And it like beats up the slug. And so along the top here, you can see how much you have left to beat the slug. You have all of your, this is your challenge at the top, eight slugs, one box, 50 of the little teardrops. And you just keep going three in a row. You can go diagonally as well. I challenge you guys to download it. It's free. Try to beat me. You can also connect it to your Facebook and play against your friends. Tell them to download it. It's really fun. It's kind of like the new hip game to play. So if you click the link down below and download it with my link, you will get $5 towards the gold or diamonds. Trust me, you'll want it. I've been very tempted to buy the golden diamonds when I've gotten very close to finishing a game, but I didn't have enough diamonds to get like a couple extra turns. So you'll want those $5. The link will be down below. So thank you Best Fiends for partnering with me on this video. And now if you want to see my Mac most repurchased products, then just stay tuned. Now Mac has so many products from skincare to makeup to perfume, and I kind of have a nice little variety here. Now I don't have any lipsticks or blushes to show you because honestly I don't know if I've ever used up a MAC lipstick and a MAC blush and repurchased them. It takes a lot longer to use. I have like quite an extensive collection when it comes to lip products and blushes, so those things take a little bit longer for me to go through. But I do have a ton of other products here that are kind of my ride or die must have MAC products. So I wanted to share those with you. So we're gonna start off with the perfume. This is MAC Turquatic. So MAC Turquatic is one of my top five perfumes. It is so good. It's different than what I usually go for. I usually go for more of like the sweet vanilla musky scents. This one is definitely more fresh, um, a little bit more of a clean scent. Absolutely love it. I have gone through probably three of the full size and two or three of the smaller sizes. It is hands down one of my favorite perfumes. Absolutely love it. I always have some of this on a stock here at my house and I just continue to repurchase it. I find new perfumes along the way, but this is one of my tried and true favorite perfumes and it's something that I continually repurchase. I just sprayed it on right before this video and was reminded about how much I love this. And it's one of those scents that like when you smell Mac Turquatic, like if you find, if you walk by somebody who's wearing it, you're like, hey, Mac Turquatic. You just know. Some perfumes are a little bit harder to decipher. This one is one that you just, it's very distinctive and it's just so, it's such a good scent. And obviously the bottle is absolutely beautiful. The next is the MAC Brush Cleanser. I honestly don't remember how many I've gone through, like well over 10 of these. So what I do with the MAC Brush Cleanser is I put it in a little spray bottle. I just got this at Target and you can just spritz it and spot clean your brushes. That's what I use it for. I don't use this for the deep cleaning. I use um, 
the Dr. Bronner's soap for deep cleaning, but I use this for spot cleaning. It works great, dries quickly, doesn't leave a residue on my brushes, and honestly, it's just so easy to pour into this little spray bottle, and it cleans my brushes amazingly. So this has been something that I have repurchased over the years numerous times. All right, the next is the MAC Mineralize Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. I adore this stuff. It is my number one favorite exfoliator ever. This is so great to just really slough off any of the dead skin on your face, or if I am self tanning or prepping my skin for a self tanner, I tend to get really dry or it gets patchy if I'm trying to get rid of the self tanner I had before. To do a new self tanner, I feel like it gets blotchy on my neck. This is great for getting off any like excess self tanner or dead skin, and it's it's abrasive, but it's gentle enough that it's not gonna like irritate your skin. I absolutely love this. I have repurchased this probably 10 times over the last three or four years, and it is by far my absolute favorite uh, face exfoliator or body exfoliator. I use it really sparingly, obviously, if I do it on my body. I just use it in places that are a little bit tougher um, to get off any like dead skin or excess self tanner. Absolutely love this, highly recommend it. All right, the next is Fix Plus. This was the limited edition Fix Plus that they had out. This one is in the uh, Yuzu scent. Um, really just any Fix Plus is fantastic. I use this for so many different things. You can use it to kind of hydrate the skin prior to doing makeup. You can use it to mist on after makeup to kind of set any powder. It's not really a setting spray, so it's not, I don't feel like it makes your makeup last longer, but if you do say powder and your face looks just a little bit powdery, to kind of settle that in and help it look more natural on the skin, you can spray it with this. I use this to make metallic shadows pop. I can use it to make your highlight pop. There's just really a lot of different things you can do with Fix Plus. So I always have one on standby. Sometimes I even have one in my bathroom. I think I have the lavender one uh, from the limited edition collection in my bathroom. And, and sometimes I will just spray that all over my face prior to doing like my serums and stuff just to add a little bit of moisture. Uh, you can use like a small little one in your purse during the summer if it's hot just as a refresher. I just love Fix Plus. And I literally can't imagine my life without it. <laughs> is that traumatic? Maybe a little bit, but it's true. I mean, I can't live without it. Next is strobe cream. Now I have had strip the strobe liquid. I don't know if they make that anymore. And the strobe cream, this is a newer one that I purchased. This is in the pink light. They have a bunch of different shades of this now that give kind of a little bit of a different color iridescent to your skin. I love this. You can use this as a moisturizer. You can use this as a like very subtle highlight to your skin, put it on the high peaks of your face. If you have really dry skin, this is gonna be great to add some luminosity to your skin. If you're oily, you might not love this. Um, I've used this many different ways. I put it all over my face on kind of a lower maintenance, no makeup day. I put this on just the high peaks of my face, like my cheekbones, like my chin. This is not my chin, but it's my forehead and my chin. And then go in with my foundation and it kind of gives you that radiant lit from within glow. This one's a little bit of a thicker, um, a thicker cream, but I absolutely just, I love this stuff. I've used a lot of their different skincare type products, um, and I really like this one. This one I continue to repurchase, and you can just see the difference there between my two hands. Like this one just has a beautiful glow where this one does not. So love this stuff. Recommend giving it a shot if you're looking for that type of product that just gives you the lit from within glow. Um, it's hydrating, it's a moisturizer. You can use it just as like a subtle cream highlight um, under your makeup. I just really like it. So that is the strobe cream. The next thing that I have repurchased more times than I can count are the MAC Paint Pots. Specifically, I think this is the third soft ochre, which is a little bit more of a yellow tone. And then the Painterly Paint Pot, which is more of a pink tone. Painterly, I probably purchased at least 10 to 15 times. Um, you can see there, soft ochre is more yellow. Painterly is more pink toned. Painterly is my favorite. It's what I use most often. I've been using Painterly Paint Pot since I was 16. So over the course of the last 14 years, wow, well I've been using Mac for 14 years. So over the last 14 years, I have probably gone through 
10 to 15 of these easily. So um, maybe even more than that. But Paint Chili is my favorite. I continue to purchase that. It's my number one choice for an eye base or an eye primer. Uh, but sometimes I switch it up with soft ochre depending on the look that I'm going for. But these are ride or die for me. Another one is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I feel like I haven't used this in a while, so I think I have to pull it out and start using it again. I've gone through so many of these. This used to be my number one concealer. It's still amazing. It's very good. I know people who have very acne-prone skin, and they use this as a foundation. It is extremely opaque, very light though, like very, it's not heavy, but it's extremely opaque, very pigmented, light on the skin, fantastic for setting, um, for concealing your under eyes. You can use it for spot concealing. I have gone through more of these than I can count because uh, it was my ride or die concealer for about four or five years there. So really love this, continue to repurchase it, and it's been repurchased a lot of times. All right, a lip gloss that I know I have purchased at least four times is this one right here. This is the Dazzle Glass. This was from a limited edition collection. I can't find my full size of this, but it's Rags to Riches. Now, I remember working at at t back in like 2007, and Rags to Riches was my jam. It's what I wore every single day. It's a pink, like a mid-tone light pink, and then it has pink and gold shimmer in it. I did put it on my lips today. I just, I feel like the Dazzle Glass now doesn't have the gritty glitter. I feel like way back in the day, it used to have the gl gritty glitter. Now I don't ever feel it. But I actually really like their Dazzle Glasses for a like little bit extra shimmer on the lip gloss. Oyster Girl is the other lip gloss that I have repurchased time and time and time again. I don't like their plush gloss formula, but Oyster Girl lip gloss or lip glass and the Dazzle Glass in Rags to Riches, I've gone through like so many of these. All right, I know you guys wanna know about my most used repurchased eyeshadows. The number one most repurchased eyeshadow is rice paper. My number one most used, most repurchased eyeshadow is rice paper and it's this color right here. It's a really soft, yellow, kind of vanilla shade. It has a nice sheen to it. It is a frost. Um, I feel like it doesn't show up very well when you swatch it because it's like such a light, frosty vanilla color. But I love this shade for inner corner highlight, brow bone highlight, all over my lid, highlight on my face. Like I'll put some on my nose here. We'll just do a little highlighting. It's just not overly shimmery. It's not like nylon, which is beautiful. They look very, very similar in the pan. Nylon just packs a punch. Like nylon to me is, <laughs> is rice paper on steroids because rice paper is just more subtle. Even though it is a frost, it's more subtle it has a, and it's just not as ba-bam. Like even when I swatch it, nylon just like shouts out at you. So if nylon is a little bit too bright for you, a little bit too ba-bam, try rice paper because it's like the toned down version of it. And I just love it and I just continue to repurchase it because I think it's such a pretty easy, effortless lid color, inner corner highlight, brow bone, subtle highlight on the cheeks. It's really beautiful. The next one that I have gone through, probably three or four of this, is soft brown. Now soft brown is one of those like staple colors that's so perfect for the crease. Um, really easy to wear. You can put it all over your lid if you wanted to. And it's just, I don't know, it's such a pretty brown. It's one of my favorites, probably why I've repurchased it so many times. And I mean, what else can you say about it? It's gorgeous, gorgeous soft brown color. All right, this is Woodwinked. I have gone through three of Woodwinked. This one is beautiful. If you like a beautiful, like kind of bronzy, golden eye, this is like your color. It is the perfect bronze shade, like bronze goddess, absolutely stunning. I love it, it's so easy to work with. It's super creamy on the eyes, and it just it's just so beautiful. It's like the perfect bronze shade. So that one is Woodwinked. Now you guys know that I love my like taupey, cooler toned colors and this is definitely one of them. This is Cori, it is a matte. This is one of the creamiest, softest mattes ever. It has like a little bit more of those purple tones to it. It's like a taupe, it's like my wedding taupe color. Absolutely love Cori. I've gone through probably three of these and it's just, it's such a good one. It's a staple for me. 
All right, another one is Sketch. This is kind of a deep, plummy brown. This is gorgeous as a outer corner color. <laughs> Lost my train of thought there. It's beautiful as an outer corner color. I even love this all over the lid for like a really dark, gorgeous, smoky eye, something a little different than using black. I just think that this color is stunning. It's a dark purpley brown, plum, plum, dark purpley plum. Absolutely love that one. I think this is my third one. We're almost done here. The next is the MAC Eyelash Curler. I love this thing. I've bought this three different times. Highly recommend this. It curls your lashes so nicely. If you've watched me from like the very beginning, I used to never curl my lashes. I was actually deathly afraid of these. And this was the one that made me love curling my lashes. It made it super easy. They curl nicely. And it's the only eyelash curler I use. I like toss every other one I've ever owned. And the MAC one is like my ride or die eyelash cur curler. And lastly, we're gonna talk about some brushes. These are my favorite most repurchased brushes. Mainly meaning that I have multiple of these. The first one is a very common one. It is the MAC 217. This is a fantastic brush to blend into the crease. You can use it to really smoke out the lower lash line. Uh, you could use it for the outer corner. I just, it's one of those, there's a lot of other brands that make ones that look just like this, but the MAC 217, I probably have four of these and I just, I love them. I've used a lot of flat shader brushes, but honestly, this MAC one is by far my favorite out of any brand of flat shader brushes. I feel like it just picks up the color the best. The bristles don't fray on me. It doesn't fall, that they don't shed. It's just my favorite. It's been my favorite, and I own probably four or five of these ones as well. And it's just so perfect at applying lid color. You can smudge out your lower lash line. And the two, MAC 239. It's just my fave. The next one is the MAC 242. This is my favorite for applying pigments or foiled shadows, especially if I'm gonna use Fix Plus. It's just a little bit more of a thinner brush. It's synthetic. It just picks up the product really, really nicely. I also use this for cream products, like cream eyeshadows. It just holds the shadow on the brush nicely, especially if you're going to dampen your brush. And it's just the perfect size for your lid. It's my favorite one for applying pigments, foiled shadows, cream shadows, the MAC 242, another one that I own multiple. This one is a duo fiber brush. It's my favorite for picking up dark colors and blending in to the outer V of my eye. I feel like it picks up just the right amount of product and it really just disperses it and blows out the color and blends it kind of for you. So this one is my favorite blending brush as far as blending out the outer V or the outer crease uh, and those darker shades and that's the 286. I think I have three of these. It's my favorite. And the next one is, and then the last one is this one right here. This is the MAC 1. 37. I love this for highlight. It's like wispy, but kind of dense at the same time. It's a little bit of an egg shaped. This picks up pressed highlighted powders so nicely and it just dusts them right on to your cheekbones like a dream. You can get the tip of your nose. I just love this because I feel like it really does make your highlight go on so nicely. Sometimes with a denser brush, when you pick up more of the frosty like MAC extra dimension, um, highlights those are pretty frosty highlights and when you use a denser brush you kind of get that real frosted look on your cheekbones but if you use something like this it picks up the powder in a way that it gives you more of a glow to your skin and less of like the frosted look on your cheeks if that makes sense so that is my most repurchased MAC products these are the things that I have bought time and time again I would love to know what are some of your MAC products that you continually repurchase that you love so much that you just can't stop repurchasing it when you run out. So I would love to know, leave them in the comments below. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, make sure you hit that bell. That way you're notified of any new videos that come out. YouTube has been unsubscribing people and I guess the way to keep that from happening is hitting that little bell by the subscribe button and clicking yes to wanting notifications of new videos. So make sure you hit that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.